Welcome to the Rusted Garden Homestead. Today I want to talk about growing determinate variety tomatoes in fabric pots. These are root pouch fabric pots. I am affiliated with them. We sell them at our seed shop and they have been really, really impressive. I'm going to show you how to plant the determinate tomatoes in these 10 gallon pots. But before we get to that, these are all determinate varieties, which means they grow to a set height, they start the flower over a short period of time, and then they produce fruit and then they die off. I have a Rutgers right in there, better bush variety, Roma type, that is a celebrity variety from All America Selections, another better bush, Roma, and it rotates all the way down. And you can just see how well they're doing. But in this little footprint of the 10 gallon root pouches, I have 10 plants. This is gonna be plenty of tomatoes. They're lightweight once they're filled, Unlike a larger container, it's easy to move around. And I just want to show you where I squeeze this in. This is put in between my blueberries and my hops plants, and it's 10 tomato plants. Now the determinate varieties you can plant right now if you'd like. They take about 60 to 80 days once they germinate or from transplant. So you have plenty of time to grow them. And in fact, I do two rounds of determinate variety planting. I do them in the spring, harvest in July, get more out in the beginning of July, harvest towards the end of August, September. I do transplants. So what makes fabric pots so valuable? Well, what happens is, and I'm gonna cut in and I'm gonna show you some transplants I'm growing of marigold and show you what root pruning is or air pruning is. This is recycled plastic and other natural materials. This is made out of water bottles. It's melted down, respun, so no new petroleum products are used with root pouch. They take water bottles, soda bottles that would actually end up in landfills and you know hopefully not in our oceans. So I like the product for that reason and that's how I actually discovered them. Once I started growing in them I was like perfect match you know they're conscious about the environment and their product really works. So when you're growing in fabric pots the roots actually penetrate and come out. You can't see them but when they hit the air they get pruned and instead of coiling around they just get pruned off. So you get a nice dense fibrous growth of roots in a pot rather than that coiling. I'm going to show you what that looks like too. And what does that mean? That means you get healthier plants that are really green, they tend to fruit a little bit earlier, and they don't need a pot as big as you might buy if you're buying a solid plastic pot. Because of the air pruning and because of the great root growth, the plants do really well in smaller pots, which means you can pick these up and move them pretty easily. All right, so these are all set up just using any potting mix. I make my own. I fill them halfway. I added some organic fertilizer, fill the rest, organic fertilizer, and I plant right in there. I'm going to show you how to do that. So this is the basic setup I use for most of my containers. Fill the pot halfway. You could fill it to the top if you want, but then it's kind of harder to dig down and mix the fertilizer through. Three tablespoons or so right into the top, maybe a little bit more. Your container plants are going to love being fertilized. They're going to use everything in here. So we set it up with the granular organic that will break down slowly. And again, any potting mix is perfectly fine. A lot of the potting mixes you buy will already have fertilizer. Still add in the organic granular. That's actually chicken manure. Then you fill out the rest. So this is what air pruning does. Pretend that this is the uh, uh, tomato plant out there. The roots will actually come out. You can see what's happening here. Here's a better example. Because I'm growing um, my transplants in here and they're packed together, they're staying moist, you can see how the roots come out through the fabric. Now, out in the bigger pots, when these hit the air, they dry, they prune themselves off, and that's what air pruning is. You know, just because these are packed tightly together and staying wet, because I keep adding water, you can see the roots coming out. Now, when you're growing into plastic containers, the roots start to coil. And it's not so bad now, but if this keeps going and going and going, pretty soon you have a mass of roots, you have less airflow and oxygen going through the plant, and it, in, it impedes the growth of the plant. This is a marigold, same variety, in a root pouch, and they're the same age. Let me actually pop that one out. And you can see the difference. So when the roots come out here, they get pruned off by the air and they just send out more roots inside the dirt ball 
and that just makes a nice dense fibrous root ball that really supports the growth of the plant and that's in short what happens with air pruning and the difference between growing in plastic and the fabric pots root pouch is also bpa free uh, it's tested the, the fabrics are tested regularly you're not going to have any toxins any leaching issues of toxins and the pots the fabric are um, uv protected too so they're going to last several several years and you want to leave about an inch or two up top because we're going to put mulch on there to help conserve water now the biggest issue with container plants aside from selecting the wrong container size you want a large size this is perfect for the determinant varieties you can even grow an indeterminate in here but right now this video is about determinant varieties is you have to water regularly if this runs out just one time completely dry it harms the plants so you want to make sure you're watering when it's 85 90 95 you may have to water once a day you may have to water every other day there's no exact way you can't over water in these fabric pots because the water will just drain out another two or three tablespoons I'm sorry another three or four tablespoons of the organic fertilizer up top mix it through and then we're just digging a planting hole this is for a transplant now it is towards the end of June but you could drop determinate variety tomato seeds right now and still get a full-size plant that you'll be able to harvest towards the end of August and that's all you do to set it up once it's in we water it this is fish emulsion soak the leaves soak the root ball and that sets your plant up to end up looking like the plants I just showed you I'm going to show you how to top dress now and feed uh, based off of the growth of the plants I have and how to trellis let me show you a couple more plants growing in the uh, root pouch so here is my root pouch garden anything that I endorse or anybody I'm affiliated with I test their products out thoroughly I love the root pouch these are herbs these are in five gallon pouches the five gallon pouches actually have a total volume of 4.2 gallons that's just the way it works with nursery pots but I have lemon balm mint in there doing extremely well that was all planted earlier in the video this year on growing herbs in my container series that's oregano mixed in here these have to be watered actually are potatoes in the back they are in 10 gallon pots doing extremely well and they're going to get watered and actually they'll be ready to harvest probably in a week or two sitting back here are the five gallon pots and I am growing some determinate varieties in there and you can see that they're fruiting the tomatoes are doing well the whole key is to really make sure you keep them watered and fed that is a super hot that's a scorpion pepper and there are I believe well it's only one pepper plant in there but often I grow two pepper plants in a pouch or a container another determinant variety in the 10 gallon pot doing extremely well and then these are more peppers in the five gallon pots and you can just see how well they're doing and this is a 10 gallon pot with two peppers actually growing in there that's two banana peppers now there's a lot of questions when it comes to fabric pots I will link the frequently asked questions in the video description and you can read about what they do um, how they use the recycled water bottles how they're tested um, toxin free and all that all right let's get to top dressing feeding your tomato plants at mid growth and talk a little bit about trellising now remember determine a variety of tomatoes get to a set height they put out all their flowers over a couple week period and they fruit over a couple week period and then they die back they're perfect for this type of container and you know for a small garden there's 10 pots in here so they do need to be trellised just so that they don't flop over but they don't need to prune there's no point in pruning your determinate varieties you want all those suckers to develop into production stems they flower they produce fruit you can move some of the leaves off the bottom if you need to but I don't think you're gonna have to so for trellising you can just drop in the metal tomato cage just like that that's what I did for all of mine and it's gonna work pretty well if you can't get those and sometimes they're a little bit expensive you can get sticks these are bamboo you can buy them you can get them in four foot five foot six foot tall posts and you just drop them in in the form of a triangle 
and then you would actually just tie them off just like that. So let's start up here. You're going to tie them off like a teepee and then that will create the perfect trellis for your determinate tomato to grow up. This also works really well for the indeterminate varieties. Now top dressing with your container plants you could do it once a month you know or you could do it at this point when the plants are starting to flower and you can see little tomatoes in there when they're starting to flower that's the time to top dress and all that really means is you're taking your organic granular fertilizer the granular type is insoluble it takes time to break down soil microbiology breaks it down it's a slow release and you're just taking about a handful one or two tablespoons and you're just sprinkling it in there try and stay away from the stem but just cover the whole top that's your top dressing and you do that at the point where your plant is flowering pretty regularly maybe starting to set some fruit and that's the top dressing your plants will love you for it also at this point we're going to give them some of the water soluble fertilizer all of these are going to get that now and the whole key, so the whole key to success for your container plants is certainly selecting the right size pot so I recommend root pouch we are actually giving doing a giveaway on my Instagram channel I will put that in the description if you want to try and uh, win the giveaway and get a couple of the root pouches but you want to water regularly but you really want to feed these every 10 to 14 days with the water soluble fertilizer and all you do is soak it in when the plants are bigger you know closer to 10 days and really soak the root ball in cover the foliage the water soluble fertilizers that are immediately available to your plant that's how they differ than the granular type they're going to absorb the nitrogen and the nutrients and that's all I do every 10 to 14 days more often when the plants are larger and keep them watered so if you want to subscribe to my channel I'll be showing you how I take care of these plants um, if any disease issues come up, I'll show you how to take care of that. But the next step is really stick with the water soluble feeding every 10 to 14 days. Keep them watered. And this is going to be a nice, massive harvest. Thanks so much for watching. And please check out my seed shop at therustedgarden.com. And I really recommend growing in the root pouches, especially if you have a small space or you want to add something to your garden. There are 10 plants here. It's going to be a lot of production and it's pretty much plant, care for, and let them do their thing. Thanks for watching.